To increase the capacity on your reels, you can use a, a hollow core backing. This will allow you to create more line on the reel than just filling it completely with mono. And most guys use half of the spool to two thirds of the spool with the backing to increase that capacity and then add a mono top shot there. So we're gonna teach you how to splice the mono into that hollow core backing. Once you determine what size backing and top shot you want on your uh, you know, particular rod and reel, uh, here we have a 100 pound uh, Moy Moy Diamond hollow core backing with uh, 100 pound mono top shot for it. Um, once you figure out what size uh, line you have, you're gonna go to your needles. Uh, these sets of needles are all hollow needles and they have different diameters. You find the diameter needle that best fits the mono that you're using for that top shot. So you find the tightest fit, you'll slide your needle onto your mono, push it into the beginning of your hollow core, burn it once you get halfway down. That way it eliminates all uh, burrs that may appear on your uh, hollow core. Now we'll start sliding our needle up inside of the hollow core backing, very slowly trying to prevent from poking the needle out as you go. You just bunch a little bit up, and slide it down, make sure your mono stays up inside your needle as you go. Bunch a little more up, slide it down. Uh, most people recommend at least eight feet. I like to go 10 to 12, just because it can't hurt. You can never go too far when you're splicing. So now I'm gonna poke my needle out. So I'm just very lightly gonna work the tip of the needle out of the hollow core. And as I work it out, I'm gonna pull on that mono behind the needle. So it pulls that mono out from behind. So that mono's out. Cut it. And then take that slack and push it right back over the end of the mono. From there, you'll do about a three inch floss over your connecting point. So you'll start an inch and a half to two inches up the hollow core side and do half hitches all the way down over where the two lines meet until you get to the end where you'll put your finishing knot. Cinch it down. And You've got a nice smooth transition right. that's 100% strength from your top shot to your backing on your reel.